Money, how eager are you for this uh, opener? There's been a lot of build up to this game. You said what? How eager are you for this opener now that it's finally here? Um, we ready to get back on the field. You know, we left last year with a uh, bad taste in our mouth after the Sugar Bowl. So we ready to get out there and play. You say we, but you weren't able to obviously finish last year. How much do you think about like what kind of difference it would have been for the defense having you out there against Alabama and Texas? I mean, I know you can't. Uh, I mean, the guys we did have out there, they played, you know, to their full potential, they played great. So, I mean, we can't really look back and say, what if? How, how hard was it? I mean, I, I know you've had to miss some time before, but at those moments, I mean, how do you get through those moments when you, you want to go and you just can't? Uh, I mean, it is what it is. I can't, could nothing I could do. Just everything happens for a reason. I know we asked you this once, but if you could jar my memory here, the, the warm-ups of UMass, what was it? You were a team captain and there was a scratch. What was what happened to you in those warm-ups? I was just doing the tackling drill and my foot was already bothering me and when we was doing the tackling drill, it just started hurting worse. And then they went and x-rayed it and there it was. What's the best part of your game? Best part of my game, I would say my aggression. Um, I don't mind contact at all, so I would say that's that's what I like the most. Has it been that way since you were little, or is that something you ever had to work on? Or something? Uh, nah, that's just really been me. Like, that's just what I did. Is there anything different about you guys defensively from last year? Just whether it's depth or, or demeanor or anything like that. Is there anything that's changed? I think we got a lot of depth, and um, I think we're, you know, we're emphasizing, you know, pressures. Uh, you know. Getting the, giving the offense negative plays. With all, I'm sorry. That's been more of an emphasis this year. With all the talk about havoc, will there be any kind of disappointment if you don't get like close to the numbers that that you guys have kind of been uh, aiming for? I mean, of course. I mean, we've been working all summer for this, and just what we want. We've been working ever since the Sugar Bowl ended, and when you work for something, you want to accomplish your goals. Do you think? What's your vibe from? Practices in terms of how effective it's been. Uh, we need to. We need definitely need to be pr uh, practice better than what we have been doing on defense. But um, I mean, you know everybody's going to play hard. This uh, Vanderbilt offense. I mean, they've got good players at every level. Uh, obviously, you're not sure about the quarterback with those guys. But what, just what's your thoughts on? Pete uh, uh, tight end, wide receiver, running back. Obviously, what, what's your thoughts on that offense? Yeah, they got some lead guys. They're running back, uh, Vaughn, Keyshawn. He's very good. You know, he's a hard runner. I I kind of like look at him kind of like a Holyfield type running back, except faster. But um, and then obviously the tight end is good. He can go up and get the ball. And then that other the limps to come. He can make some plays on the edge. So we got we got a test. What's going to be the key to controlling you know an offense with that many you know uh, skill players? I mean. Just go out there and execute the call. When Coach Landon calls this call, or if he calls this call, just go out there and execute it, just like we've done. How much of you, I guess, I don't know if enjoy is the right word, but you've got these outside linebackers now that, you know, they, they seem to have some pretty tremendous attributes. And I'm sure you, when you watch film, you see these young guys or the new guys, Drew and Johnson. What are your thoughts on just what they can bring to the table and how that might change your defense a little bit? I mean, I, th I think what's so special about those guys because they all can run. Um, and they're all athletic, and they're all long. So, you know, they can really cause a lot of havoc <laughs> on another team. So it'll be interesting to see. What's it like going against this deep group of running backs you guys have in practice? You said what? This deep group of running backs you guys have, what's it like going against them It's practice? always a challenge because, you, you, especially in covers, like you never know what they're about to do. Like Swift's going to come with something different. Cook might run just run, run right by you. Zamir is going to do his thing, and then there's Brian. And there's even Prather, so we got to stay low. What do you expect to see from the Kobe Dean on Saturday? I expect him to play hard like y'all does and make plays and run to the ball and be effective like y'all is. This year three with you and Tay kind of being teammates and, and you guys are lining up a lot beside each other out there. What have you seen him grow grow at, at, at that inside linebacker position? And, and do you kind of, do you see a different player than than? First. Yeah, um, Tay's a lot different from when I first got here. Uh, he knows the scheme way better than he did when I first got here. He, he's a playmaker. He, he's very effective in coverage, you know, with him. He's an athlete, so he has good ball skills. You know, he played halfback in high school, so 
he's uh, real like athletic and he can pass rush, cover. He can run downhill and make plays for us in the box. So he can do a stable of things. Who knows the defense better, you or him? Me. <laughs> I was going to say, as much as you've improved it, and I know you don't get into the outside media too much, but you weren't first, second, or third team. Do you think maybe you get a little overlooked because you didn't finish last season? I mean, I, I ain't even know I wasn't first, second, or third team, but I mean, it is what it is. It ain't my job to pick it, you know. I just go out there and play. You mentioned always being aggressive. Have you? Did you learn like you had to make sure you were aggressive the right way, or did you kind of embrace always going after people? I was just told my first time in middle linebacker go tackle to do with the ball, and that's what I did. So that's just all I knew. Was that sophomore or junior year at James Clemens? Well, no, that's when I was nine years old. Nine years old. Yeah. Okay. Because they were saying that Coach Walter about talking was saying they tried to push you at DN first. Oh yeah, they did. Like they it. did try to put me at on the D line and. I ain't really like it at all because going against Logan Stenberg, you know, the one that goes to Kentucky, yeah. I had to go against him in practice. It wasn't very fun, but, you know, I just still do, did what I was supposed to do. Is middle linebacker perfect for you? Because that's, you can, you pretty much, you can't really stay still. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, coming right at. it's a lot better. I mean, if I was a taller dude or, you know, had better pass rush moves, then yeah, I'd go play down there. But that ain't for me down there. <laughs> As it is, you're not the biggest, you know, inside linebacker by SEC standards. So what was it that allows you to compete at the highest level, would you say? Um, my effort. I give a great effort. And um, I'm not scared of anything on this planet. I'm not scared of anybody. Uh, and I just always play hard. You come out here and you talk to us, and you seem really laid back and just kind of easy going. But, you know, on the field, you talk about the effort, the intensity, the aggression. How much – how much changes? I mean, how, is, it, is it a switch you flip? I mean, is it, is it you know, and when does that switch get flipped? Um, as soon as we step on the practice field, and then when we're off the practice field, it's, it's off. You're not scared by heart movies? No, not at all. <laughs> were you scared by the, maybe not scared, but a little overwhelmed by the recruiting process? Stuff that was. Uh, I was definitely overwhelmed because I was like tired of people. So many people asking me so many different questions. Yeah, yeah, but it was definitely overwhelming. You, you've been through some stuff. I talked to you about Horatio last year. You've been some, through some stuff in your life. What what has it been like now? Do you feel like you're coming into your own kind of as a as a person? You're, you're an established starter here. You got a career here. Yeah, um, I, I would say I've dealt with adversity uh, well. I could have dealt with it better when you know things happen, but you know it all made me a better person in the end. Which things? Uh, just everything with my cousin dying, uh, the foot. Uh, my knee injury I went through last year, so it's all for the better. You, uh, how, how, how's your level of health? How do you feel physically this year? I feel so much better than last year. Than yeah. Last year it was just like one thing after another just kept happening, just kept happening. Are you doing anything like body maintenance-wise? Kind of. I would I say. I guess you can do anything for your foot necessarily, but. Yeah. But last year, I mean, I got treatment sometimes, but this year I'm in there way a lot more than I was last year, so I think that's helped a lot. What does that preventative treatment look like for you guys? Like what, is, it, is it like getting taped up? Is it getting iced every day? I mean, what is it kind of? Uh, I mean, I think for what's been the biggest change, I get an iced tub every day. I'm not the biggest fan of the iced tub, obviously, because it's cold. But uh, I think that's helped a lot. It helps keep your leg, legs fresh. And then um, I stretch more than I did. And I do the normal tech boots a lot. So I do a range of things. I want to ask you about Nathan Priestley. Uh, quarterback, Court. that, you know, walk-on quarterback that you guys have, and, and Kirby was kind of talking about how quickly he's picked up things. He's kind of been a blessing for you guys with with the one situation. What, what what have you seen out of him? Um, he'll throw the ball. I think he needs to be louder. You know, take more control of his group. But other than that, he's been a great asset asset to us, and you know he can sling the ball very well.